Hiawatha Bray here, rejoicing in that most wonderful time of the year for tech lovers. Yes, the cargo ships have arrived from China, and they've all been unloaded at West Coast ports. The contents have been dispersed to electronic stores across the land, and now people like you are running wild trying to figure out exactly which of this stuff you should buy for Christmas. Well, don't look at me. I can't help you. There are a million products out there, and trying to make up your mind in the midst of so much bounty can be really daunting. Well, maybe I can offer a few suggestions, things that I've seen over the last year that I think are really kind of cool. Let's just sort of see if we can shift the pile a little bit, shall we? Let's start in, of course, with the obvious suspects. In the laptop department, well, frankly, there's not a whole lot of excitement there. The computers haven't really changed that much over the last year or so, actually over the last several years. But the more I see of them, the more I like Chromebooks. That's that wonderful technology that's been developed by Google and a number of computer manufacturers like Samsung and Acer. The result are these very lightweight, simple, roughly $200 laptops. They don't run Windows. They don't run high-end fancy software. Instead, they run very stripped-down basic apps made by Google. You can do word processing. You can look at videos. You can listen to music. All the kind of casual stuff that most of us do on our laptops. It's been a great year for tablets. You've got the iPad Air and the new iPad Mini with a really upgraded Retina display from Apple. But Apple's market share in tablets is plunging because so many other people have got good stuff to offer as well. The Google Nexus 7 got refreshed this year, and it's really good. But the really exciting thing that happened this year is what Amazon.com did with the Kindle Fire. First, they gave it a much better screen than the first edition of the Kindle Fire HD. Now it looks really good. But secondly, they came up with the greatest innovation in years to customer service, Mayday. That's a feature on their tablet that lets you touch an icon and immediately be connected to a living human being. You can even see them because there's a little video of the person you're talking to right on the tablet screen. You got a technical question? They'll answer it for you. It's really the best customer service I've seen on a tech device, maybe ever. If you're looking for a stocking stuffer, here's a really great choice. One of the best low-cost tech devices of the year, Google's Chromecast streaming video device. This is a little thing that really basically looks like a USB drive, but instead of plugging into a USB port, it plugs into the HDMI port on your high-definition TV. Now you've got a device that will let you stream video from Netflix, YouTube, and other streaming services. And it can be controlled from your smartphone. It's really an amazing product. And at $35, the price is unbeatable. I haven't been awed with this year's spate of smart watches. I've tried a couple of them, like the Samsung Galaxy Gear and the Pebble. And in both cases, I sat there wondering, why do I need this? On the other hand, I have been a little bit more impressed with simpler devices like the ones made by a company called Fitbit. These are basically fitness monitors that you strap to your wrist and send information about your physical movements to your smartphone. In other words, you can constantly track how many miles you've walked that day, how much exercise you've gotten, how many calories you've burned, and you can build up on your phone uh, a long-term record of your physical fitness activities. It's just the thing to help you keep those New Year's resolutions. And you can get devices like these for around a hundred bucks, so the price is right. I spend all year plowing through this stuff, and even I haven't gotten jaded yet. The, the quality and the innovation that you see in a lot of this electronic gear that I get to write about is absolutely amazing. And even though personally I, I'm surrounded with it and would rather probably get a nice sweater or a pair of socks for Christmas, I guarantee you that if you head off to the local electronics store, you'll be able to find something that your friends and family will absolutely love. From the Tech Lab, this is Hiawatha Bray.